I tell parents all the time, like just feed into your kids' interests. They're going to be, you're going to see that you're going to allow the prodigy to come out of them because though it, it did, because of what the school God, systems do is they, and nothing, I'm not bashing it, but it's just, it's a 1930 outdated model. It's a right? manufacturing That's what they, system. Exactly. And it's also an authority system, right? Mm. So why do we have a self-worth issue or self-esteem issue? And, you know, because you're only good if you get an A on the test approved by this teacher, right? You're only good if you do this. And so what do we do as I train our mind? It makes us look outside ourselves to get approval instead of looking within. That's why we care so much about what other people think. Yes, humans are a collective consciousness, are collective in our way to where we we're, we're, we, 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 we evolve and we work better when we're gathering with others and we want to fit in. But at the same token, we lose out the individuality aspect of it when we do that. But feeding into interest is one of the things that I always tell, like, because when you feed into your interest, and you guys know this, you've had this in your own experiences, when you are interested in something, it's not, it's actually kind of hard not to learn. Yeah. It's, hard it, to, it, it, it's hard to stop. Yeah, yeah. you just want to keep it learning. Is. You're just constantly <laughs> like, man, I want to learn more. Let me get this. On. And you're just downloading, downloading, downloading information, you know, whatever you're taking it in. And it's just like never end. And I know there's topics like that. Like I can, if it's science related, conscious related, healing related, mindset related, like that, all that stuff, man, you can't get me to stop learning that stuff. I love it. 